my it has been a hot minute did you miss me did you lot miss me no oh, i'll see you in two months what's good people i can finally say welcome back to a new vlog it has been way too long since we've done one of these so let me chuck you in with a little update so on the 25th of july is where this whole break started and it was not planned at all let me tell you so i'm gonna drag in the clip from that day so you lot know a couple months ago that was the time i was going to this pitch and i was getting in quite a few more shooting sessions than we have been over the last the last good amount of time on this channel we haven't really had good access to a goal but we finally got it so i'm gonna drag in the clip now of how i actually got injured on that day it was honestly so so stupid probably the most stupidest way I have ever or someone can ever get injured but it just shows you can do these such annoying little things in the simplest and dumbest ways as you see from the clip i was getting the football out of the goal after we'd just done a round of shooting and the rest of them as you knew you roll it out and then kick it but i don't know what went through my head but for this one i thought i won't roll it out I'll just kick it straight out while it's still in the net. Obviously not a good idea. And I'll put a little zoom on it or something. But you can see just before I make connection with the ball, my foot or my leg or something gets caught in the net. And it like jars it and sends it inwards. And that's when, obviously, I missed the football and I went down hurt. Um, it was really, really painful. Um, I stopped training for the rest of that day and just rested it. But to be honest, because it wasn't anything like mental like I'd, i've literally damaged my ligaments on the on the knee so it felt like a similar pain but to a much less degree so obviously i just thought like give it maybe even tomorrow a couple days and it will all be fine so we'll speed up a couple hours now i've gone home i'm resting it and icing it all that sort of stuff and i'm loading up my computer to transfer the footage and this is when, obviously, if anyone's seen my community posts, my computer actually broke. I still don't know what was wrong with it. It just doesn't work. So, obviously, being injured without a computer, there's not really much I can do for football, for YouTube. I'm just sort of stuck at home, um, slowly falling into a pit all on my own. And, yeah, that's kind of just what happens. Like, you know when a computer breaks, you can't exactly walk down the shop and get another one. Or if you do, it's not going to be the best of the best computers. I have a good friend of mine who's quite into his IT um, or like computer stuff. So he was sending me the parts of the computers and I was literally just clicking buy. And I was trying to get the computer sorted as quickly as possible. But obviously, by the time we got the computer, it had already been like, I want to say a month. So it had already been a good little amount of time to notice that I've disappeared from uploading and I didn't really want to come back telling you that I got injured and with a boring rest day video. Um, it was kind of for my own, I don't want to say pride, but you know what I mean? Because I've been injured quite a few times, um, especially recently. Like I had a little hip um, thing going on. I had my other knee. I pulled my groin, strained my groin even. And it just hasn't been the best of times so i kind of used it as a time just to step away from everything a bit um relax a bit more unfortunately the knee still is not better today i literally haven't like kicked a football bin to the field in like two months because the 31st of july or whenever i just said a minute ago is the 25th that was when i last played football last thing on it it is really really annoying especially because it's, it was July. We're in pre-season. The season's coming up. I was talking to a couple different clubs, which I'm not going to name anymore because obviously a club doesn't want to sign a player. And even if they did, you can't even get involved um, with an injury, especially like I've got a history of knee injuries. So they're not going to want to get involved straight away. You know what I mean? Um, so... I can confirm that for this season, yet yeah, I don't have a club. Obviously, you can sign in season for certain clubs at certain levels. So maybe I'll look into that once the knee gets better. But as of now, I don't have any plans to to go back with any of the clubs. But yeah, um, I hope that gives you all a little insight onto where I've been and that can answer some, some of your questions. 
If you do have any more questions, more personally, come DM me on Instagram. I'm always free to answer DMs. Um, or if you want it more broad in a video, like a public question about your training or something like that, come drop it on my TikTok comments or on the little Q&A bit on my profile, and I'll be sure to do a little reply video to it. But as for now, um, I'm not going to lie, it's been hard the last month or two. Um, it has been hard, but I know we will get through this. And it will only make us stronger. Um, and so, yeah, as for now, I am literally just going to go make myself some breakfast. So I'll see you in there. Really sorry to interrupt, but at this point in the vlog, I'm just going to interrupt and throw something out there just in case anyone is interested. Obviously, you guys watching the videos and you guys that support me in the comments and that know that I have now left college. Although I haven't been with it lately with the consistency, you lot know what I'm usually like. You know, I tried to get out the videos at least three times a week and there was a good period where I was going every day, if not every other day. I don't want to pressure anyone into anything, but obviously... I am looking to make this like, I'm not getting paid from it yet, but I'm looking to make it my actual job. I have no desire, no plans to get a job down like Primark or Tesco or something. That's just not going to happen for me. This thing, I'm going to dedicate my time to football. If something comes from it with the football and with social media, great. That being said, obviously, you can know my situation isn't the best right now. So I have started up a YouTube membership. When you go down there, if you're not already subscribed, hit that red subscribe button. But right next to it, even if you're subscribed or not, there will be a little button that says join. If you click that, then you get two levels, two tiers of membership where you pay literally the price of a cup of coffee, not even the price of a meal deal a month. It's a once a month payment where you can choose how much you pay, whether it's two pound or five pound or whatever. And from that, for the people who do come and support me more on there, you'll be in all different things. I'm gonna be posting exclusive only content for you guys so i can get more personal with your needs and how you guys want to improve give you any advice you want just be a friend that's there to chat to you i'll give you a follow back on social media anything you guys really want i'll try and accommodate for on there so if that does interest you at all if you've been around since day one if you're an og then go around and for literally two pound a month as little as that you can support me. Obviously, I know I, I have already got one bit of backlash for this, um, but it is what it is. You know, I need to earn money. I'm at the point I've left education. Um, and I'm not pressuring anyone into doing it or guilt tripping. Literally just do it off your own backs. If you do, great. Thank you so much. And there'll be stuff on there for you waiting. If not, no drama. Just get on and watch my normal vlogs. And now I'll let you get back into the video. <laughs> Honestly, it's been a little while since I've done this exact session. I'm usually just doing random stretches, or to be honest, I haven't done a full session of anything, really. Um, I've just been a bit not with it. So I am going to be following along exactly to my mobility um, video on YouTube. If you didn't know already, I've got a full follow along video. Literally just turn it on, find a small bit of space, enough for you to lay in, and just follow everything else's. On the screen you don't need any equipment nothing like that so i'm going to stick this on and get going just follow along
as you can see on the screen back there, the mobility is all done now. Um, I was going to have lunch because I am getting quite hungry. But first, we're just going to do a very light chest session. I know that I'm going to get a lot of um, stick for this one. But you know, the whole point of this channel is to be totally transparent and honest um, with what's going on and stuff. So I haven't, with that being said, I haven't done a workout or anything like that in the past month or a half since I got injured. I'm not going to lie to you guys and fake it, because ultimately, if you fake it, it's going to show. You know what I mean? And anyway, I'm just not that guy. I don't want to fake it with you. Like, I want it all to be real. You to experience the journey with me. Um... And really get a feel for my days obviously i said earlier i was struggling mentally a lot lately um and i kind of just wanted to step back from everything as a whole instead of just having the knee injury and doing that i wasn't in the right mental space just to think well we just got to keep fighting with the upper body and grow and grow i literally just took time off i'll be the first person to own up to it um so yeah with that being said since this is the first one I don't want to, I don't want to overdo it and do loads. So we're just going to do lightweight, um, not too many exercises. And then we're going to have some lunch. We're going to do a bit on the dumbbells in here and go outside on the bench for a nice little chest session. wobbly this bench was This is unfortunately the end of the vlog, boys. We've just taken Cookie out on a little walk. I'm not sure if you saw if you could see him there or not. I can't remember if I recorded at lunchtime. I don't think I did, but I'm not too sure. But um, I just had the standard rice dish, which you see in any one of my other vlogs. So if you really want to see it, go and watch one of my like full days eating as a footballer or just watch any of my day in the life and you'll probably see it. Um, but in case I didn't show it, it's brown rice, egg, 
pepper and and um, corn rashers which are like a vegetarian version of bacon but much healthier i am going to finish up the vlog here um, but don't worry i won't disappear for another two months this time come on crew. i will be back very very soon with another video but for now i hope you have enjoyed i hope you've gone down there hit the like and subscribe button remember if the youtube membership um little scheme thing does interest you it's literally the button that says join next to the subscribe button you hit that um obviously i don't want to pressure anyone into it but it would really help me out a lot and i am going to try as much as possible to use the money to put back into the channel um, whether that's buying a better camera or more equipment or if that means doing a giveaway potentially like i don't know a 50 100 pound pro direct gift card for some new boots or something like that um but yeah obviously want to use the money to give back to you guys because you're the ones that are giving it to me ultimately um but yeah i'm gonna go i hope you've had a good day i hope you're smashing your goals peace I don't know what I spent if you ain't my domain, I'm out of my bitch. Drop three dollars on a ring, call it Peter Troll, little bitch. I was in the shop, circle cocaine, he ain't been the same fence. Granted, she was standing right there while I keep playing on the brick. I made them little niggas go hate when I tell them man in this.